Welcome to our video. The topic this time is Imperial Learning Reckless for Prince Akashino. In light of the words and actions of her father, Prince Akashino, in handling the series of issues related to the marriage of the former Princess Mako to Kei Komura, there are much more growing concerns about his accession to the throne. The following is an example of such voices. The Imperial family is in more danger than ever before because of Mako's insistence on marrying for personal rather than official reasons. The next Emperor of Japan, His Imperial Highness Prince Hisahito, is also so concerned about me that he may say, I don't want to be the Emperor. In order to stabilize the Imperial line, it is necessary to think without the Akashino family. Prime Minister Kishida has often expressed his opposition to a female emperor, a female line of emperors, and a female imperial family. Therefore, when discussing the revision of the imperial household law, he is expected to follow the same line as Prime Minister Shinzo Abe in favor of a male line. The road to Princess Aiko's accession to the throne is still very steep. According to the Sankey Shimbun, August 28, 2020, an official of the Imperial Household Agency is concerned about the rescheduling of the ceremony for proclamation of Crown Prince, which was originally scheduled to be held on April 19 of this year, saying, if the change of Prime Minister causes the discussions to go back to the drawing board, the impact will be inevitable. Once the ceremony for the proclamation of the Crown Prince is successfully completed, the Crown Prince will accompany His Majesty to be more deeply involved in the rituals of the Imperial Household. After the ceremony for the proclamation of the Crown Prince, the Crown Prince will be given a hereditary sword by the Emperor, and from then on, he will be involved in Shinto rituals. In other words, as the heir to the Emperor's rituals, he will serve close to the Emperor and learn the secrets of the rituals. The daily life of a person who becomes an Emperor is one of self-discipline and self-reflection, and this is the foundation of imperial learning, or kingcraft. Court rituals involve unique dignities, manners, and cannot be learned in a day and a night. The costumes are heavy, weighing 7 to 8 kilograms, and often involve sitting in a kneeling position on the floor for a long time, so the physical burden is great. His Majesty the Emperor now enjoys mountain climbing and jogging, and is always physically fit. His Majesty's hobby of mountain climbing is not limited to physical training, but also includes a deep insight into Japanese culture. His Majesty recalled the following about his mountain climbing experience. Ever since I was a child, I have been very interested in the path. It all started when I was in elementary school and learned that there was an ancient road from the Kamakura period, 1185 to 1333, that ran through the Akasaka Imperial Garden, Akasaka Imperial Palace, where I lived. It is a great place to feel the warmth of history, to follow the footsteps of mountain priests practicing asceticism in the mountains, where people entered the mountains inspired by their faith. For me, climbing the mountains of faith is a living historical search, walking in remembrance of the past. In this way, the daily life of a would-be emperor is one of self-discipline and self-reflection, and this is the foundation of imperial learning, which is truly a daily practice. Will His Imperial Highness Prince Akashino's imperial learning, or kingcraft, begin? The Emperor, as the symbol of Japan, is destined to spend his long life searching for the right kind of symbol he should be. The Emperor is a solitary person, and he alone decides everything, not consulting even his close friends for advice. So they say. However, apart from self-discipline, it is necessary to get help from those around you in order to acquire education and expertise. When His Majesty the Emperor became the Crown Prince, study sessions were held regularly to help him acquire the necessary education for the future. At first, it took the form of a lecture, but eventually it became a salon-like study group where experts in art, history, and other fields gathered. Looking back on this kind of imperial learning, it is hard not to feel a sense of dread about what His Imperial Highness Prince Akashino's imperial learning will be like after he becomes the heir to the throne or Crown Prince. Prince Akashino has no hobbies of any kind, and he is not as physically strong as his elder brother. Prince Akashino himself has candidly expressed his lack of confidence in his ceremonial manners, saying, Last time, His Majesty was standing next to me, and I felt like I could just watch him if I didn't understand what was being done. 
In addition, the fact that the issue of Mako and Keikomoro's marriage has not been resolved is a matter of dignity as a father, not just imperial learning. Even though Mako is now an adult, the imperial household is still an old place, and the imperial family still retains remnants of the patriarchal system. An official who works at the imperial household agency lamented. His imperial highness, Prince Akashino, is indifferent to imperial learning. Even if he performs his official duties as a theater-goer, it does not mean that he will become a symbolic emperor. He seems to be still averting his eyes from the reality of his accession to the throne. Looking at the stark difference between the emperor's family and the Akashino family, there are high hopes for Princess Aiko. The fact that His Majesty is able to climb mountains with a cool face is the result of his training from childhood. Isn't it reckless for Prince Akashino to start his imperial learning at the age of 54? It will take at least 20 years to reach the level of His Majesty. If that's the case, shouldn't Aiko, who grew up watching His Majesty's back, be the one to learn the imperial learning? End.